Video shows the chaos inside Lincoln Middle School Friday, a fight between two girls in the cafeteria. A Kenosha police officer who also works as a school security guard is seen pinning a 12-year-old girl with a knee on her neck. The doctor said that she has a neck sprain and she has a head injury. In an exclusive interview, that girl's father, Jarrell Perez, told us the officer went too far. It doesn't take that much to do a 12-year-old. You're, you're a professional. It's once again placing scrutiny on Kenosha police. It brings up George Floyd. It brings up everybody who's been on video who has that. It even makes me think that I could be in that situation. No one should have to be in that situation. Kenosha's Shannon Ellis says it's a reminder of the strained police community relations here, including the Jacob Blake shooting and the sometimes violent protests that followed. With everything that went down with Kenosha before, I thought we would have been past that and be a little more uh, less violent. Don't, don't go to the violence so quickly, but obviously we haven't. We still got a lot to learn. The Kenosha Police Department says the officer has not been suspended or placed on administrative leave but they are looking into the incident. It's appalling that it is continuing to happen in Kenosha. We haven't learned anything. Elizabeth Garcia was brought to tears thinking about the school video. She says it speaks to a systemic problem. Is this even reformable? How do you, these were, this was a child. In Kenosha, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News. The girl's father tells 12 News she was arrested for disorderly conduct and is back home recovering. The school district canceled tonight's special school board meeting. A spokesperson said, quote, unfortunately, board availability changed and left us without a quorum.